Hey everybody. So on an up note, one of the things that I've noticed in spending time with my dad is, is noticing, you know, his preferences and, and old people, they love to tell you what's not to their liking. Uh, I think they just have a knack for that. Um, and to tell you that they don't like vanilla cream powdered milk. They only like the plain brand, for example, you know, and, and for us to pay attention to what their preferences are and to be able to reach out in the way that we can to satisfy what they like and what they prefer. And sometimes it might be a little annoying, but in the grand scheme of things, you know, it's not that hard to, to make those little sacrifices and changes to make them, you know, uplift their day. So the other thing is to notice, you know, what things they like in terms of like movies or games or conversations, what have you. And, uh, you know, one of my all time favorite movies is this movie called Serendipity. And it ends up that that's one of my dad's all time favorite, you know, rom-com movies. And we watched it the other day and again, it's just a pleasant movie has a happy ending, you know, and I think everybody wants to believe that the guy's going to get the girl and that all is well and that there's a happy ending. And I think sometimes when we look at how, you know, sometimes life isn't that, you know, straight lace, meaning, you know, I'm a product of a family of divorce. Um, and so things are not simple. They're complicated. And, um, I know both of my parents love each other very much. Um, and at the same time, you know, they both had their very different ways of living, which contributed to their division. So, you know, when you, when you are unified with somebody and your mind and your heart and your soul and your purpose is all lined up, it makes it so much easier. But when you're at odds with one another, there's going to be, you know, constant conflict. So again, just being mindful of what people are going through and, um, allowing them that space to have their, you know, movies, their favorite movies and allowing them to have their favorite foods and things like that to just ease the pain and suffering that they're already feeling overwhelmed about. Um, because, you know, losing control of one's body and functions is, is difficult to accept gracefully. So find out more about, you know, what your parents like, you know, what, what are their favorite moments, have those conversations, get them to tell you again how they met and what their stories are. Let them, let them talk about their memories and their past. And if you can record some of it, that's great. And if not, then at least be very present when they tell you their story because, you know, we're not promised tomorrow. So make sure that you pay attention today.